It's a matter of training yourself. If you know that A requires B requires C requires D, we can say that C requires D, but C has no impact on B because right. of their sufficient necessary relationship. So it's going the wrong way on a one-way street. Yeah. I think with time, you'll get it as you do it more and as you watch the explanations as well and mm -hmm. drill yourself on this. I think it's just a matter of practice and familiarity, but it's, you're certainly not alone. I think every student has struggles with this. I, I remember back when I was studying, I was doing in-out games of this nature, the conditional in-out games. And I have notes where I made the most common mistakes of all, which were simply going backwards on the arrow. Everybody does mm -hmm. it, but with time, you can train yourself so that it becomes automatic. Okay. Like you could do it by rote, but you also deeply understand why it is. It's because you haven't seen it before and no one's emphasized it for you. That's what makes it hard. But if we really focus on that for a little while, then you'll start to get it. It's not that it, it is, it is a hard concept, but mainly because it's unfamiliar. Mm -hmm. And if you're rushing or you're assuming too much, you could make the wrong assumption. That's what, really what they're counting on. You know, they know that most people haven't drilled this and haven't studied it enough. And so if you see a positive and negative side by side, you're going to assume there's a conflict. But if yeah. you actually slow down and focus on the order of these variables around the arrow, mm -hmm. you get all the difference. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.